It might look like an aeroplane seat belt, but this is in fact one of the latest ways that you can secure your camera. It's the curiously named Mini Orenji Mini Plaster Hand, and I'm about to show you just how it works. So this is the Mini Orenji Mini Plaster Hand, but what is it? Well, we've got a strap, we've got a couple of buckles and loops, and then at the end is this kind of, what I'm guessing is milled aluminium base plate that holds your camera. Now at the bottom, it is slightly curved there so that you can attach it to curved surfaces like a, a lamppost, maybe a, a slightly rounded park bench, that kind of thing, street furniture basically and then you can attach the strap through the loop here and tighten it and you've got your camera securely mounted. Now this is how the Mini Orenji basically comes. However, there are two other options. There's the option to have a mini ball head, which I've got here. And then also, a, I believe there's a smartphone holder option as well, which we didn't go for because we've got plenty of smartphone holders kicking around. So that just secures on top there. And then the first way that you can simply use it is to just put it down on a tabletop and you've got a really simple way of mounting your camera. Now, I've actually been away this weekend shooting some long exposure images and I thought, I'm gonna give this a go. Now, it's not obviously ideal for long exposures, but I was actually trying to balance this with my A7R and a Takina 20 millimeter lens on some rocks in the middle of a stream and some cascades. And I was actually quite surprised that the kind of grippy rubber bottom on the bottom of the base plate here just provided enough grip that it would stay on the rock and I felt comfortable enough that it was gonna stay there for the 15 to 30 seconds that I was leaving the camera. And I got a couple of nice long exposure images just using this setup. Now, eagle-eyed viewers may notice that the screw that holds the ball head in place is actually off center. So the lens actually points forwards and the weight is on the front of the base plate here where it's longer. So we've got a Sony a7R as usual, 20 millimeter F2 Takina lens. Look out for the review of this very shortly. And as you can see, it's really nicely balanced. It's a good size base plate for this. And they've obviously really thought about the position of the ball head and the base plate. Now we can actually tilt this forwards quite a way before it will become unbalanced. So about there. So the idea here is actually really straightforward. This sits on your lamppost, on your bench, or whatever you're gonna wrap it around. You hook this buckle here through this loop, and then it goes through this loop here, and then you simply pull on this here. Now you can pull on this very tightly and just keep the tension, and it can hold the camera really, really still. However, you can also hang your camera bag because this at the bottom here acts as a hook. Hook it around a loop on your camera bag and this will provide the weight and it actually really does keep the camera steady. Now, part of the reason it's able to hold really steady is the fact that this bottom is gripped. So the outside material is just kind of like a seat belt, but on the back is a grippy rubber gel type material. And that's really good, obviously, for helping it stay in position. But as well as that, it actually means that you can use it vertically. You could wrap this around a tree or a lamppost vertically like that, and it grips really tightly. And then you can still hang a camera bag off the bottom in the vertical position like that. And it stays super steady. Might not look very neat and tidy here, but you've just kind of got to believe me, it, it works and it holds it really, really steady. But hey, I get it. You're still gonna be a little bit worried about this slipping off, right? I mean, you've got a valuable camera on here. Well, there's a sort of safety feature. It's not really gonna work when you're mounting a camera vertically, but if you've got it on a railing or a bench, this may very well save your camera. The buckle, the hook here at the end, cannot get past this loop, or in fact, the other loop up there it has to be angled when you pass it through. Now this can be a little bit fiddly when you do it. You have to sort of position it like that and angle it round. It's actually quite easy. But it means that should your camera slip, your camera bag slip, something like that, your camera's not gonna plummet 
So the final really cool bit of design is this little red tag here that looks like it's been put in a really strange position as a brand label. But in fact, it means that you can wrap the mini plus the hand up like this and then the hook on the end goes through this label tag loop like so and it all folds up really neatly keeps itself all nice and tidy not strung around all over the place you can put it in your pocket pretty easily and you're not even going to notice this in a camera bag it's so lightweight so is this going to replace a tripod no of course it's not let's get that idea out of the way straight away however will it replace a gorilla pod in some circumstances yes i think it can do i mean you can mount it to flat surfaces you can put it on a wall you can put it on a park bench lots of street furniture railings all of that kind of stuff this is going to work almost as well as a gorilla pod although you know you do either have to pull it to hold it steady if you're taking a long exposure photograph or put your camera bag on the bottom to act as a bit of ballast just to keep it nice and steady but in those situations yes this could replace a gorilla pod so that's it that's the mini orangey mini plaster hand i'll put the links to this and pricing in the description below if you like this video thumbs up if you don't like it thumbs down hey we want to hear your opinions on what you think of this these products and also of these videos if you are liking the channel hit the subscribe button because we're trying to upload videos three times a week on mondays wednesdays and fridays so make sure you check the channel on those days for all the latest photo gear news and reviews